going to talk about how to learn your law school outlines. It's not enough just to have a beautiful law school outline. You actually have to commit it to memory. If you commit it to memory, then it's going to be much easier for you to recall and recite rules on the final exam and much easier for you to impress your professor. And by the way, this is true whether you have an open book exam or a closed book exam. You want to learn the rules of law regardless because you're going to maximize your chances of succeeding on the exam if you actually know the law. And when you take the bar exam, you're going to have to learn it anyway, so you might as well save yourself some effort and learn it now. So first tip is to make your own outlines. The best way to gain this intuitive understanding of the law and a deeper understanding is to make your own outlines. Your outlines that you personally make are going to be the easiest for you to learn. If you can't make your own outlines, then find a, find a student who took the same class with the same professor who has a similar outlining style as you. Don't use a commercial outline because they're not going to be organized to your class. Okay, so it's better to use someone's outline who took your professor. And personalize the outline as much as you can. So try to color code it, make charts, add in your own personal touch. This will make it easier to learn the outline. But again, we think it's best if you make your own outline. Next, actively review your outline. What you don't want to do is review your outline just by reading it. So if you review your outline looking like this, then you're not actively reviewing your outline. Active means that some part of you is probably moving. So for example, if you're learning, let's say you're learning a couple pages of your outline and you decide that you are a visual learner, which most law students are, so it helps you to like cover up your outline and rewrite the rules of law. This is how I learned everything, by the way, is let's say I'm learning like intentional torts, assault, battery, trespass, whatever. I would try to recall all the intentional torts and all their elements. And I would just cover up my outline, briefly jot everything down. I wouldn't jot full sentences, just the elements of each tort. Um, of course, the first time I'd go through my outline, it took a long time and I would be missing a lot. But then when I'd go through it again, I'd remember more. Finally, I would know them all really well because I'd gone through the outline so many times. And again, I used an active review process. I, I covered up my outline and then I wrote down uh, what I was learning. So other ways that you might do this are color coding your outline, making diagrams, making charts, um, thinking up mnemonics. If you're a, a more auditory learner, which some students are, um, then it might help you to explain the concepts out loud or try to recall them um, you know, and, and explain them rather than just rewriting things. It also might help you to join a study group. If you're an auditory learner, it might help you to think up mnemonics and rhymes because those will be more memorable to you. It, uh, to you. If you're visual, then things like colors and charts and things are going to help you more than these auditory styles. And you might be a combination of both. You might want to mix up how you learn your outlines. But the key is you want to find an active way to review your outlines. You just don't want to passively read them over and over again. It's really boring to do that and it's not an effective way to learn something. Next, go through one section at a time and move on. If you're taking our recommendation and you're outlining early, this should be natural. You know, you only have one week's worth of material to learn at a time. Um, so hopefully if you can learn your outline week by week, this is an easier thing for you to do. Now, a lot of students don't necessarily start early or they start outlining early, but they're not learning their outlines as they go along because let's face it, things happen. It's, things don't always happen in the most ideal way. So if you're, let's say you have a 50 page outline you want to learn, break it down into manageable sections. So for torts, you might want to break it down into intentional torts and defenses to intentional torts. And then negligence might be broken down into duty and breach and cause and harm, or maybe there's even some additional sections. But what you want to do is start with one section at a time. You don't want to say, I'm going to memorize all 50 pages at once. It's not going to be effective for you to do that. Try to memorize five pages at a time. You know, take that intentional tort section and memorize all the elements of all the intentional torts. Then move on to defenses to intentional torts. This makes it much more manageable. Um, you can schedule breaks after each section. Memorizing is hard work and it'll make it easier for you to effectively memorize the law. That brings us to our next break, uh, next tip, which is to take breaks. Memorizing is hard work. You can't do it for two hours in a row or three or four hours in a row. You'll have to schedule some short five, 10, 15 minute breaks um, to get your brain, you know, a little rest between memorizing sections. So make break something that you take seriously. And make sure you're understanding the material as you're learning it. If you have material and you just don't know what it means, it's going to be hard to memorize um, because you're not going to understand how to apply it. It's going to seem like you're memorizing something random. 
So if you don't understand something, consider talking to your professor, getting a tutor, going to Google, joining a study group, um, consulting a supplement. There's a lot of ways to gain an understanding of something um, which will aid you in actually learning the law. And then lastly, focus on what matters. So focus on what your professor says in class. You don't have to know everything about every area of law. Focus on what your professor focuses on the most. So if your professor loves the tort of you know, intentional infliction of emotional distress and you spent two weeks on it, you want to focus on that when you study. Um, if they only spent about five minutes on trespass, then I wouldn't worry about it as much. You still want to know the elements of the law, but you want to be smart about what you focus on. And then lastly, keep coming back to your outlines because it's not enough just to memorize something. You have to come back to it. The brain learns by repetition. So if you learn something in you know, week one or whatever, you're gonna have to go back and review it again. Um, what I would do is basically, when I first started outlining in week one of law school, I was able to look at every outline every day because they're only like a page. But then week two, week three, week four, my outlines are getting longer and longer. I would try to at least look at every outline once a week or once every two weeks because this may, this meant that I was going back and I was reviewing things, I was retaining the information. It didn't take long. I mean, by the time I got to week eight, I've looked at week one eight times. It's gonna take me five seconds to review that portion of the outline because I've looked at it so much and I've already learned it. Okay, versus what I've learned in week seven is a little newer and it might take a little more time to make sure I've retained that. But you wanna set up a schedule so that you make sure that you're reviewing your outline so that you don't forget what you've worked so hard, hard to learn. And by the way, if memorizing is new to you, a lot of people didn't memorize in undergrad. They're not taught to memorize. No one tells them to memorize their outlines. So it is a new skill. Um, be patient, start early, recognize that, let's say that you go through, you know, half your torts outline in a day and you have it memorized. You're still not gonna feel great about that material until you've had a good night's sleep and you get up in the morning and you look at it again. Okay, so there's not a per you're not gonna have everything perfectly memorized. And even if you really do memorize everything really well, it's still gonna take you a period of time where you really feel comfortable with it. So recognize that it's just part of the process, but by making learning your outlines a priority, you are truly setting yourself up for success on your law school final exam. Mm -hmm.